Halloween, everyone. Assuming you are actually watching this on Halloween. If you're not, you're gonna have to come back next year and watch this video again. I'm sorry, but I don't make the rules. You have to. So with it being Halloween time, I thought, why not go ahead and talk about some spooky animals and maybe just talk about why they're not actually so spooky. Before we get into the video, I do want to say this video isn't meant to say that like spiders shouldn't be Halloween props or anything. If we're talking live animals, yes, please don't use live animals as props. However, I'm not saying anything like, oh, you shouldn't use fake spiders around Halloween time or using fake snakes is bad because, you know, I love spooky stuff as much as the next person. Halloween's fun. Have some fun with it. I'm not trying to ruin anyone's fun. Instead, I just want to talk about these animals. And again, I'm not talking about prop animals. You know, I'm talking about the real life version of these animals, such as snakes and spiders that people normally view as spooky or gross. So I just wanted to sit down and talk about why these animals aren't spooky and gross and why these animals are actually, you know, really cool. With all that said, let's just go ahead and start talking about some um, typically spooky animals and why they're not actually so spooky. Let's talk about snakes. So snakes are very commonly feared, believed to be gross or creepy or spooky for that matter. A lot of people don't like snakes. And you know, snakes are very commonly used at Halloween time. You know, I guarantee you can walk into any Halloween store and see some snake decorations, snake decor, things like that around. Snakes get a bad reputation for being gross, creepy animals. Many people believe that snakes are very slimy, which is actually not true at all. Snakes are 100% dry. The only time any moisture is going to come off a snake is if that snake has been in water recently and is wet. But a snake on their own is never going to produce any type of slime or anything like that. So let's talk about snakes and some common misconceptions about them that often give them the reputation of being these scary, gross, dangerous animals that many people fear. So despite what many people believe, Believe, snakes do not want to eat people and I'm not just talking about Angel here who is a ball python who could not even eat me if she wanted to I'm also talking about big snakes like reticulated pythons Burmese pythons anacondas things like that humans are just not food for snakes. None of these snakes naturally hunt humans. A human does not really look like food, it does not really smell like food, or anything like that. Especially a snake like this. Some people who don't really know a whole lot about snakes assume that a snake that's even just like four or five feet long could eat a person. Some people here think that Angel, who is a ball python, is big enough to try to eat a person. I can guarantee you that Angel has absolutely no interest in eating me at all, which is also the same for most snakes. So despite what many people believe, snakes actually are very important for the environment and play a very important role in the ecosystems. If it wasn't for snakes, things like rodent populations, you know, rats and mice would just get absolutely out of control. These snakes do an amazing job of keeping the rodent populations under control at a good level. You know, ecosystems are very delicate and it works in a very specific way and if things get messed up, it can mess up a lot of things. Most snakes are also non -vegetarian. Now, depending on where you live, the population of venomous snakes could vary. For example, where I am in Ottawa, we don't really have any venomous snakes. But in other parts of the world, obviously, this is different. But overall, most snakes are not venomous, especially the ones that people are keeping in captivity. Yes, some people do keep venomous snakes. However, if you know someone that has a pet snake, almost guarantee that it's a non-venomous one. And now when it comes to snakes that are venomous, it's important to know that even if a snake is venomous, it doesn't mean it wants to hurt you. These snakes are venomous in order to help them hunt their prey. These snakes don't want to just go around biting people. If you ever see a snake out in the wild and you're not sure what it is, the best thing to do is just don't approach it. Just walk away and the snake will be fine and you will be fine. If you approach the snake, you're now just threatening it and putting yourself in a position where you're more likely to get bitten by the snake because the snake is now threatened, especially if the snake can't run away. So snakes are not actually the gross, creepy, slimy creatures many people think they are. They are not big people-eating monsters or anything like that. Like that. Snakes are actually very important for the ecosystem. Snakes are usually just minding their own business and keeping to themselves. Typically, if you don't mess with a snake, the snake isn't going to mess with you. So one really important thing to note is don't 
kill snakes, please. Please do not kill snakes, whether it's just because you think they're gross or you think it's a dangerous snake. Again, even if you think it is a venomous snake, absolutely do not kill it. The worst thing you can do if you have a venomous snake near you is get closer to it. In order to kill this animal, you have to put yourself in a position where this animal could bite you. The best thing to do is to just leave it alone. If you do find a snake somewhere where it shouldn't be, you can call someone to properly relocate it, but please do not go around killing snakes. They are very good for the environment. They're very important and these snakes don't want to hurt you. They're just trying to mind their own business and keep themselves warm and fed. They are not trying to do anything to us people. They are just trying to exist. Black cats are another very interesting Halloween animal to talk about. I'm sure that we've all heard um, myths and stuff of black cats being bad luck, especially around Halloween, and unfortunately this leads to a lot of misconceptions around them. So in reality, black cats are no different than any other cat. It is just the color of their fur, the same way that some dogs have black fur and others have different colors. Black cats don't really mean anything special, it just means that this cat's genetics determined that it's going to have black fur. It is incredibly unfortunate that so many people believe the myths surrounding black cats, as some people have taken it to the point where they literally will kill black cats when they see them. So please remember that black cats are no different than any other cats. Please don't mess with them if you see them. Please do not kill them. And for anyone out there who owns a black cat, I do want to say, please keep your cat indoors, especially around Halloween time. I'm not going to go into the whole indoor-outdoor cat debate. All I'm going to say is if you do have a black cat, please bring them indoors, especially around Halloween time, because there are unfortunately some people out there who are very cruel towards black cats. And if you are someone who is watching this who in the past has um, believed these myths and stuff about black cats, again, please just know they're no different than any other cat. They just have black fur. Did you know that a fear of spiders is one of the most common fears worldwide? People all around the world are terrified of things like spiders and tarantulas for various reasons. Some people just straight up don't like them and don't really have much reason for it. Some people do have more reason behind it, such as they're scared of getting bit and stuff. So let's talk about that. Are spiders really as scary as they seem? Are they gross or what's the deal with them? You know, what's the deal with spiders? So spiders and snakes actually share a lot of similar Similarities, both when it comes to people being scared of them and also when it comes to just, you know, them being a beneficial part of an ecosystem. Spiders, similarly to snakes, are a very important part of the ecosystem. You know, we all know that spiders eat insects. Now think about how many insects there are. If there weren't any spiders eating these things, insect populations could get out of control. This is why things like house spiders are actually beneficial to you because if it weren't for the spider in your house, all of the flies that it ate would be in your house, you know? So don't look at spiders as if they're some gross, pesty animal that doesn't need to exist because spiders are so important for the ecosystem. You know, they eat so many insects and they're also food to many other animals such as birds and things. And despite how common the fear of spiders is, especially when it comes to things like getting bit, you really don't need to be scared of that. So when it comes to spiders and tarantulas, basically every spider that exists in the entire world is venomous. Now this probably doesn't comfort anyone because a lot of people are scared of spiders because they don't want to get bit. Let's break that down a little bit. So yes, well, basically all spiders are venomous. Just because something is venomous, it doesn't actually mean it is harmful to humans. These spiders have venom in order to kill their prey. And these spiders are eating things like bugs. Humans and, you know, a cricket aren't really comparable, you know? We're quite different, I would think. So while this spider may have venom that is powerful enough to kill a tiny fly, it's venom doesn't necessarily do anything to humans. So despite almost all spiders being venomous, almost all of them are relatively harmless to humans. Now I don't want to make it seem like all spiders are entirely harmless because there are still some that have venom powerful enough to affect a human, whether that is actually killing a human or just causing a severe reaction such as pain. But you know, these few spiders should not affect your opinion on spiders as a whole. Again, spiders are incredibly important for the ecosystem. If it wasn't for spiders, things would 
be like just pure chaos is the best way I could describe it. Fun fact! Did you know that there has never once been a recorded death from a tarantula bite? You know, despite what you see in movies with tarantulas being these like monsters that just kill people, there's never once been a recorded death from a tarantula bite. And when it comes to things like tarantulas and spiders, same with snakes, you know, these animals don't go hunting after people. You know, there's no tarantula that's gonna be chasing after you through the forest. These spiders aren't purposefully trying to cause any harm to humans. These animals are much happier when they are just keeping to themselves, trying to keep themselves warm and fed, but they are absolutely not trying to do anything. When it comes to a spider or a tarantula, if you just leave them alone, they're gonna leave you alone. As long as you are giving these animals respect, you are keeping yourself safe and you're keeping this animal safe. You know, it's when we put these animals in situations where they're forced to defend themselves when things go wrong. So just be respectful of the animals and their space. So now what about rats and mice? You know, those little rodents that a lot of people hate. You know, a lot of people have the notion that rats and mice are these nasty, gross creatures that spread disease and are just really dirty, when that honestly couldn't be farther from the truth. Rats and mice are actually quite clean animals. Anyone who has ever owned rats or mice will tell you this, you know, they do an incredible job at grooming themselves. If you own pet rats or mice, you don't need to be bathing them because they clean themselves. Rats and mice are also super, super intelligent animals. Animals. Again, anyone who has owned these animals as pets will tell you just how smart these are. Rats especially are very intelligent, they're great problem solvers. These animals also make incredibly affectionate pets for people who are interested. You know, a lot of people believe that, like I said, rats are nasty and gross and dirty, so for this reason they believe they should never be pets, but rats and mice actually can make really clean, intelligent, affectionate animals. These animals are capable of forming social bonds and I know rats especially can bond incredibly close with humans so despite the fact that people believe that these are probably just these stupid gross animals they are just like the complete opposite of that in every way and again when it comes to wild rats and mice these animals once again, are never trying to cause problems for humans. You know, I know these animals sometimes end up in people's houses, you know, sometimes people will have a mouse somewhere loose in their house, but again, just remember, these animals are not trying to cause problems for anyone. These animals are trying to keep themselves warm and keep themselves fed. Now, I'm not saying if you have a mouse in your house, you should just let it live there. It is perfectly acceptable to want to relocate it. However, please don't kill them. If you can, use humane traps, uh, maybe call humane exterminators if you need to. You know, there are options. Again, these animals, just like everything else, play an important role in the ecosystem. These rodents are food for many other animals. So, you know, it's important that we are protecting these lives. So I don't want to make it seem like you have to love all these animals, you know? You don't have to love the spider that's in your house. You don't have to love the mouse that's been running around your vents for a while. Now, all I really want from this video is for people to gain a greater respect for these animals. You know, I'm not saying you now have to love snakes and spiders. If you're someone who's still scared of snakes and spiders, that is perfectly fine. A lot of people are. Just remember, you know, these animals don't want to hurt you. They're not as scary as they seem and as long as we're respecting them there's probably going to be very little issues at any point in your life. So now that we've talked about these animals and why they're not actually so spooky, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So before we go and end this, I quickly want to give a shout out to a Chicago-based small business called Erratic Eternity. So on her store, she has a ton of resin things she's made and she also has some things like really cute journals. I do also want to point out quickly, this is not a sponsorship. She did send me some free products just to try out and I did uh, want to mention them in a video because I do really like them and I think that her shop has really cute things especially right now she just did a Halloween release so if any of you guys are looking for some maybe little gifts uh, journals things like that um, please go and check it out I'll, I'll put the shop link in my description if you are interested at all so there's that so with all that said I am going to go ahead and end the video here I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did I would really appreciate it if you subscribed to this channel and also gave this video a big thumbs up I'd also love it if you went and followed 
followed me on social media. It would mean a lot to me if you did. All of that is just down in the description below if you are interested. So with all this said now, I'm just rambling, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here. I do really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Thank you.